Hey guys, Ryan from GameOctane.com. I am here with Whitney, who is the art director on A Happy Few. First of all, congratulations. Um, I, it, it's been an incredible showing. Um, tons of awards, it looks like so far. Definitely one of our favorites. Um, so talk to me a little bit, since you did the art direction, what kind of inspired you to do um, this type of art design? It, it feels really unique. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it, it started originally with our studio head wanting to do a dystopia where everyone is happy. And so from there, I kind of, um, I was inspired by 60s Britain. Uh, there's a lot of, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Hot Fuzz. Uh, yes, absolutely. That that was like, it, there's a common thread in, with like a quaint English society with a dark undertone. And, um, and then the dystopian part, there's a lot of amazing British 60s sci-fi. So I'd never heard of a game with that setting. And it was just, it seemed like there's a lot of material you could pull from that. And then our narrative director, Alex, is an amazing writer and storyteller. We used to work for film, and he really fleshed out the lore. And so him and I worked really closely to develop a, a really, like, like a solid setting. And then, um, and then I did concepts, uh, like general concepts, and then the artists uh, take these concepts, and they're really amazing artists, and they, they, they can take really loose concepts and, and run with it and do really beautiful things with it, too. So it's very much a collaboration. Yeah, no, you guys worked as a great team. I mean, it's just, it looks incredible. It's beautiful. Um, and also really, really creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that's okay to say. For sure, yeah, yeah, totally. We're, we wanted it to be, a, a, uh, what's the word? off-putting for sure and and creepy but we didn't realize how it would really affect people and people seem to get really wigged out by it um we're like so that's been great to know that it's it's effective yeah absolutely now the gameplay on this i mean i was able to pl try it out a little bit um it, it seems like there's some kind of survival elements to it with crafting and things like that can you talk about that a little bit yeah well you're an outcast from society because you're a downer so you're off of your joy and um so you have to eat sleep um, if you upset people, they're going to try to attack you, and so you have to, you know, not die. Um, but then there's also a social survival element where blending into the world. So you have to make sure you're wearing the right clothes. And, and in order to survive, you have to learn how to craft to build new things to propel you through the world. Absolutely. I saw that on like one of the loading screens was even if you're crouching too much, like you kind of tend to do when you're trying to survive and be stealthy, like people are going to notice and, and freak out a little bit. So, um, oh, move closer. Okay. Thank you. Um, so ag again, we just re really like this game. Um, when is it coming out? Uh, July 26th for um, Steam, um, Early Access, and then the Xbox Game Preview. And then the full release, we don't have a date yet. Okay. Yeah. But, so it'll be unfinished for those dates but you'll be a good chunk okay. yeah. excellent well we're really excited for you Winnie thank you so much we thank really you. appreciate it um, guys Whitney uh, tune in we're gonna give you some more updates here on the floor again check out a happy few it is really really cool game so um, keep it locked in at gameoctane.com